Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to discuss the Graham staining technique. The Graham staining technique was developed by a Danish scientist, a Danish microbiologist, Hans Christian Graham in 1884. Therefore, the name of Graham staining, it comes from the developer of the stain, the Hans Christian Graham. The principle of Graham staining is very much simple. It basically differentiates the bacteria into two major groups on the basis of physico-chemical properties of their cell wall. And all of the bacteria in the world can be classified into two major groups on the basis of Gram staining, the Gram positive and the Gram negative bacteria. Those bacteria which absorb and retain the Gram stain, these are called Gram positive bacteria. For example, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Bacillus, all of these are Gram positive bacteria. And those bacteria which cannot retain this Gram stain appear transparent and are constrained with the saffronin, appearing pink or red in color, these are called Gram negative bacteria. So now we'll elaborate the gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. The gram positive bacteria, these have thick peptidoglycan layer in their cell wall. As you know, the cell wall of the bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan or murine. These are the conjugated molecules comprising proteins and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates and proteins. These molecules, peptidoglycan or murine, these constitute the cell wall of the bacteria. In case of gram-positive bacteria, the cell wall or the peptidoglycan layer in the cell wall of the bacteria is very much thick and it absorbs and retains the crystal white dye in the gram stain even after washing with the alcohol or acetone. And therefore, due to this crystal violet color, these appear blue or purple in color under the microscopic view. Common example of the gram-positive bacteria are Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. In contrary to this, the gram-negative bacteria have thin peptidoglycan layer in their cell wall due to which these cannot retain the dye of crystal violet or gram stain and lose it after washing with the acetone or alcohol and appear transparent. Therefore, these are counter stained with the saffronine dye and appear pink or red in the microscopic view. Common example of the gram negative bacteria is Carisha coli or E. coli and Salmonella. So, these are the two major groups of the bacteria. However, there are certain exceptional cases in the bacteria which cannot be classified under these two groups of the gram positive and gram negative bacteria. These are mycoplasma and mycobacterium. Mycoplasma bacteria, this is also called as atypical bacteria. Atypical bacteria because this bacteria lacks cell wall. And due to lack of this cell wall, this cannot absorb or retain the gram stain and are not classified under the gram positive or gram negative bacteria. The mycoplasma usually infect the respiratory tract. The other bacteria is mycobacterium. As you know that the mycobacterium tuberculosis is a common bacteria. This mycobacterium, it secretes mycolic acid from its cell wall. This mycolic acid, it interacts with the gram stain. And this mycobacterium cannot be differentiated into gram positive or gram negative bacteria. Rather, it is termed as acid fast bacteria, AFB. Acid fast bacteria, AFB, because it is stained with Zeen Nelson stain. Zeal Nelson stain, this mycobacterium bacteria cause tuberculosis in humans as well as in the animals. So these two bacteria, the mycoplasma and mycobacterium, were the exceptional cases to the gram staining technique. Now the reagents used in the gram stain, there are four reagents which are used in the gram stain. The first one is crystal violet. It is also called as principal stain. Principal stain and it imparts blue or violet color to the bacteria. And the bacteria which retain this color, these are called as gram positive bacteria. The second reagent is iodine. It is called moderant and it is used for the fixation purpose or the fixation of stain or crystal violet into the bacterial cell wall. So it is also called as moderant. Third reagent is ethanol. It is used for washing off the excess stain, washing off excess stain or crystal violet dye. And the last is the saffronine because it is also called as counter stain. The counter stain is applied when the principal stain fails to work. It, for example, in gram negative bacteria, due to thin layer of the peptidoglycan in their cell wall, this cannot retain the gram stain or crystal wire dye. And after washing with ethanol, this bacteria loses their dye and appear transparent. Therefore, this bacteria is counter stained with the saffronine so that it can be identified microscopically. Saffronine gives pink or red color to the bacteria. So the gram negative bacteria appears pink or red. Now the procedure of gram stain, first of all prepare the bacterial smear on the glass slide, then heat fix the slide. Apply the first reagent or apply crystal violet dye for one minute on the slide. This is a principal stain and it is the first process in the gram staining technique. 
After one minute, rinse the slide with tap water, then apply the moderant or iodine for the fixation of this gram stain into the compost bacteria. Again rinse with tap water. It should be kept in mind that crystal violet as well as the iodine. These were poured on the glass slide for one minute each. And after each step, the glass slide was rinsed with a tap water. Then the third reagent, decolorize with the ethanol or acetone for 20 seconds to wash away the excess stain from the glass slide. Again rinse with the tap water and at the fourth step, apply saffronine as a counter stain for one minute. Finally, rinse the glass slide with tap water, air dry it and examine it under the microscope. So this was a very simple procedure in gram stain technique in which the bacterial smear was prepared on the glass slide, it was heat fixed and the four reagents, the crystal violet, iodine, ethanol and saffronine were applied to the glass slide and after each step the glass slide was rinsed with a tap water and ultimately the glass slide was air dried and was examined microscopically for diagnosis and differentiation of the gram positive from the gram negative bacteria. The result in preparation is very much simple as we have stated earlier that the gram positive bacteria These appear blue or violet due to the principal stain crystal violet and gram negative bacteria appear pink or red under the microscope due to the counter stain saffronine. So this was all about the gram staining technique. Keep watching my videos. Thank you.